Okay, hello, this is Guava Moment, and welcome to the Terror from the Deep Thread. If you've read the opening, you've probably figured out that I'm going to be playing the aliens because fuck this game, as you will soon find out. That means you, the viewer, will be playing against me. My first guest is... Uh, well, okay, he's a lot of things. Got a paper here. Okay. My first guest is... A, for la words. My first guest is a sentient mass of extraterrestrial fungi. He's a fellow TI-85 owner. He is the ugliest car ever made. He's the forum's number one user of the Colbert emoticon. And he's a horny space walnut. Hello, Scion. How's it going, Guava Moment? Hey, it's great. Okay, ready? Okay. Terror from the Deep is terrible. So, Guava Moment said, well, I need someone who will get all these Aquanauts killed, and I'm the man for the job. So, you can see my tank, which is actually useful, and my Aquanauts, which are not. My basic idea was I would deploy them in teams of three, uh, two guys with the heavy gas cannons, as you see there, and one guy with the harpoon gun, which is... Imagine the rifle from the first game, except about, I don't know, 10% is useful? Yeah, I thought that. And then a guy with a rocket launcher. Yeah, I made it so that Sonic only has starting equipment here, which all sucks. It's all terrible. I also had to make the tank a little less useful. I'm not using XCOM Util tanks because they're completely immune to Sonic pistols. And even as it is, it's kind of a problem, but you'll see that. Okay, so here's uh, my first turn. You get to see the map. I have my six guys down by the sub, and then one guy way up in the north. Um, as soon as... This is, of course, the XCOM Utah multiplayer. As soon as I open doors, they never close, so I want to get those guys out of the sub right away. And these guys just kind of get them near cover somehow. I don't know, hills or whatever. I kind of know... Oh, I mean, of course I know where he's coming from. I want a guy up here to snipe him when I can. Aliens have no ducking animation, so it's, things kind of look weird. This rock looks like great cover. Uh, and then I see the tank. Okay. Uh, spoiler for the next, like, five minutes. Here we go. Me shooting the tank and it not dying. Yeah, the tank's name is Boris, I've decided, by the way. Boris, sure. Here's my uh, one guy with a blaster rifle up on a hill. He can snipe down pretty here. Here. That's pretty good. Tank not dead. Not surprising. Oh, I guess they have two guys with blaster rifles. Never mind. Got... At least my Aquatites have really good accuracy. Oh, but... Okay. I was thinking now that I say that, he's gonna miss, but I think... <laughs> no. <laughs> Some of these next guys will. Yeah, you notice his USO is a clown car. How are you gonna fit seven guys in that thing? <laughs> I'm not checking to see if I would hit one of my own uh, Aquatoids with line of fire, and I would, so I have to move him over. See, there's a miss. Yeah, normally this is the, uh, this is the very small sub. You wouldn't normally see seven Aquatoids here, but... Otherwise, it would just be an absolute massacre if I came with, like, what the standard one it comes with. I think it comes with two or three. It's just an artifact of how I'm uh, completely abusing this game to its fullest extent to get these matches. Although, Sign, I did give you some ad er, opportunities. This is low... Was it high visibility, low sh shallow water? Something like that. Yeah. Speaking of accuracy, uh, the tank has rocket launcher, <laughs> as you can see, um, not, not so much. No, but it took out half its health, you can see. Yeah. So then I figure, okay, well, one of my Aquanauts can... Oh, wait, no. Never mind. Uh, Random Battle here is actually talented, as opposed to everyone else, because he actually hits. I'm using high explosive rounds in the gas cannon, so at least if my idiots manage to hit something, it's probably going to drop the... Uh, any alien they hit. In fact, you just need to hit near them. Yeah, this guy's not in cover at all. Yes, this is me being unable to remember to duck before I use my aim shot. Uh, I normally don't. Not that it helped, but I figured... The auto cannon equivalent, which is what I would use in, in UFO defense, is even worse than this thing. So The hy hydrojet cannon. Hydrojet cannon, yeah, it's terrible. But it has so, auto shot. This is true, but its accuracy and power are very lame, so I've found gas cannons effective. And... Yeah, the gas cannon equivalent is the heavy cannon, and that's almost useless in regular XCOM, so it's weird that it's so useful here. Well, I think it's because when they broke this game, they broke that at least. <laughs> they broke everything useful, pretty much, yeah. Still can't see any of your Aquanauts. 
trying to look around. I can see smoldering craters my guy used to be. Uh, let's go stand this guy on the tire. That's probably a good place for him to be. Oh yeah, sign left these on for me, thanks. Figuring out how oh, to turn these off. Right over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, stand on the tire, that's a good place to be. He'll never find me there. I wondered about that. <laughs> <laughs> that's me being retarded. See, that's a good spot. Me having a seizure. Yeah, okay. Yeah, what... Those things that he, he just turned off were the reserve time units. And the nice addition is there's a button to reserve time units to crouch as well. Although I found it's just useful to give the, my Aquanauts a time unit to turn and shoot someone. Because if you just reserve enough units for, say, a snapshot, and they need to turn 90 degrees, they might not always get away with it. Oh, very clever. I never play with reserve units, I just... Eyeball things. I think this is Skilbs getting the only harpoon kill of the entire match. I might be wrong, but uh, they're terrible. Harpoon, yeah. You'll notice the 10 harpoon bolts it has, what the standard XCOM rifle has with 31. Yeah, and each harpoon bolt is much weaker. So I'm starting to develop my thing here. Essentially, it's a line of guys in rough groups of three with the Dominic Bocage with the torpedo launcher and the tank is my odd man out. Just sweeping across the map. So I noticed that guy must have been shot at or something. There's a hole in the, in the what's mountain cliff thing there. I need to have this guy scout because he's the closest one. Maybe I can uh, sneak behind him as well. Hey, I found the tank again. You ready for this? Once more? And I... this yep, is standard hit. armor, not XCOM Util Enhanced Armor. I should have started counting how many hits he, you know, hit him with. It's got to be at least six or seven it's now. It's been a lot. I think that one went through the tank and hit the rear armor. Still alive, holy crap. I kind of understand what J-Star was going through, and he, uh, he was bitching about my tanks. Oh, I'm hoping he's hidden enough behind this hill here. Oh yeah, something I wanted to point out. XCOM Util places Illyria, or what is it, Zerbite, at kind of weird places in the map. There's a chunk of Zerbite up there. I don't know why it does that. So as you can see, the tank is almost dead, admittedly. Boris has, has been taking a lot of and fire. You found him! God damn it. So I, I found his, his guy, and I realized, oh, I have no ammo, or no time units, so I try and get Boris out of the line of fire. That is, in hindsight, I should have moved him in a different direction. Now, this now is a one of the other than I, Oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, no, go. One of the things I've noticed, or what you'll see in a second, is that you can't use grenades. Uh, since the turn technically never ends in multiplayer, you can stack up your guys close to each other and not get killed by grenade. Oh yeah, I'm just going to blow up the mountain. So, yeah. those three Aquanauts, under normal circumstances, you never want them that close, but in this case, since I know he can't grenade me and I know he's not going to hit me with the blaster bomb equivalent... <laughs> not yet, no. Yeah, not yet. Okay, so then I accidentally did a snapshot and he missed. The nice thing is, is I have so many Aquanauts that even though they're idiots, one of them will hit eventually. Yeah, Although to I take had to drill the, through the mountain. Yes. The entire hill, yeah. That worked out kind of well, though. I, uh, a lot of your guys yeah, I remember couldn't I, make it. When I sent you the save game, you said, what happened to the hill I was standing on? <laughs> it's completely gone. Now the uh, slow march of reserve time units continues. <laughs> I think that's the most competent shot. No, the second most competent shot my Aquanauts made. You're actually hitting a target on the first one. So I don't know if you're keeping track at home right now, but I think it's uh, five kills for Scion and zero for me so far. Yeah, I'm admiring that destruction. Uh, so this is two guys left. I have to have this guy go out and scout. Oh, look what I found. Yeah. Boris is invincible. Nope! Okay. 
Not oh, good. yay! So happy. I'm gonna have to do this every video. Okay, oh, yeah. Now that, <laughs> now that that's dead, that. the real killing can begin, but not with me only having two guys left against ten. Oh, look at it. It's all melty and destroyed. I'm so happy. <laughs>